channel and if you're new to my channel you are welcome to my channel um so I always I normally do like hairstyling videos and stuff um, and today I decided to do a video on how to take care of your hair um, in regards to that I'm going to talk about in particular how to you know manage thinning hair or um, you know thin hair um, I don't have thin hair um, fortunately for me um, but it could happen, you know, I'm not saying it should happen, but it could happen. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about how to take care of their thin hair, why is their hair thinning, what do they do, and stuff like that. And, you know, I sometimes try to, you know, explain to them what to do, but, um, I don't know if, I might be, I might not be all right, but sometimes I think it makes sense what I tell them to do in terms of getting their hair back to, you know looking good and stuff um, I have like done some research on um, how to you know manage thin and hair and like you know some little I did a little in research about thin hair thin and hair in general and I you know put some things on paper and I decided to come on here and talk to you guys about it so um, yeah by the way the giveaway um, I, did, I announced um, I um, I don't know what I'm saying. I am going to announce the winner of my giveaway um, at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's get straight into the topic of today. I'm thin here. So Your hair is thin. You don't know what to do with it. It's it's either thin or it's thinning. Um, you got to know the difference between those things. And if it's thin, ask yourself, is it is it as a result of genetics? Is that how your hair is? Has your hair always been thin? You know, be sincere to yourself. Ask yourself that question. Um, don't, you probably are looking at other people's hair and you're like, why is my hair not as thick as theirs? Um, and you might not be thinking about the fact that maybe that's how your hair is, you know? You, you just, you're just not trying, you, you just don't want to accept that that's how your hair is. It could be that reason. It also could be that, you know, over the past whatever, what a years or weeks or whatever, in regards to you, you have been noticing your hair becoming thin. So if that's the case, then it means there's something going on, you know, there's something wrong going on. So you have to find out what it is that is wrong with your hair and, you know, find a solution to it. Um, there's so many medical conditions that can cause hair to be thin. Um, you know, you can research on that. And if it's something as a, that is due to medical conditions, you can tell your doctor or, you know, try to find a cure for it. Um, so that's that. What kind of products should you use? Your, your hair is thin and it's light, you know. So as far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't use products that are too heavy. Cause then you're gonna weigh your hair down like I feel like they're gonna weigh your hair down you don't know you, your hair is not you know strong enough to handle the thickness or the the viscosity if you want to say the, the you know the, the the thickness of the hair so it will weigh it down and it will make it even easier for it to you know break even more so try not to use heavy products use light products if you have to use a leave-in they have like light leave-ins like the watery leave-ins I will suggest you use those ones and um, the types of oils try to use oils that are light examples of oils that are light are um, coconut oil is very light and it's very good grapeseed oil is good um, you know research on oils that are like good for your hair crushed oil Although castor oil can help with the growth of your hair, and I, I've heard it helps with thickening, thickening of your hair, I will suggest you mix it with other oils, or you can use a very small amount. Like try to make sure it's not a lot, like just a tiny little, you know, you know, very, not too much. Just try to not use it a lot on your hair because it's gonna weigh your hair. Because castor oil is very heavy. It's a very heavy oil so try not to use too much if you have to use it your hair can start thinning as a result of you using too much you know 
forest on your hair. Like tights, braids, um, you know, just sometimes some protective styles are so intense, like pulling your hair back, trying to protect it, but then it's like too much tension on your hair. So be careful of the kind of protective styles that you do because it says it's protective styling and it's supposed to prevent your hair from you know breaking and all that's supposed to be good for your hair because it's supposed to be protective but then at the end of the day you keep doing all these things pulling on your hair and stuff and it might not be a good situation for you so minimize the kind of you know manipulation you do on your hair so that can be a reason okay do protective styles. Protective styles can be like that can go bad, like can be detriment can can be detrimental um, when it comes to you having thin hair. But try not to put too much tension. You know, if you have to have um, if you want to do like a like a if you want to hold your hair up, try not to put too much tension. Like it's not that serious. People always want to have like some you know some you know edges laid and stuff laying your edges <laughs> really needs you to pull on your hair um if you if you have thin hair i can imagine how thin the front part is like we all have like very delicate edges everybody has delicate edges because that's just how we that's just how it is nobody has like strong edges it's thin and if you put if you put too much tension on it it will become it will go the other way so try not to use too much tension on your hair that's basically what it is um, stay away from braids like single braids I will say if you ask me stay away from single braids if you have to wear wigs wear wigs you know and make sure the cornrow under the wig is not too tight you know just not the main point of this thing is not to have your hair go through too much stress okay so that's what I will say don't forget to deep condition your hair because then if you don't you will have a dry hair and that means your hair is going to be more prone to breaking and then at the end of the day you have more hair coming out of your hair and it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner so try to do more deep conditioning and you know let it sit for at least an hour that's what I do to my hair anyway although I have I don't have that much of thin I don't have thin hair but I try to do that all the time I let it sit for at least an hour or maybe overnight and then I wake up and my hair is all moisturized and soft and all that so try to do your um, deep conditioning at least every week and also one tip is not to shampoo your hair too often you know I shampoo my hair once a week I try to do twice a week I mean once in two weeks but it didn't work for me every time I try to do that my my scalp itches so bad and I can tell my scalp is dirty my hair is dirty and it needs some water so that's not that doesn't work for me but if it works for you if you can if you can handle it if your hair can handle it try to do shampooing only like once in two weeks or if if possible like once in like a month or something that's what I would say because then when you shampoo your hair all the time it, it makes your hair like over time I feel like it will weaken your hair you know in the process of trying to get the dirt the, the dirt out you're trying you, you strip out more moisture and then you know it will make your hair even more prone to breakage if you get what I mean so yeah that's what i would say and also try to find shampoos that are like moisturizing don't get some those clear liquids clear li clear type of shampoos are like clarifying shampoos that they they're they're aimed at you know trying to strip the hair like of all dirt and stuff and in the process you're stripping your hair of oils your natural oils and maybe you know too much too much stuff and that can leave your hair really limp and weak and all that so you don't want that so try to find products shampoos that are like really um, really moisturizing and if you have to add some oils to your shampoo too you know I know that sounds weird but it will not be too stripping you know try try doing that and one thing you should stay away from is 
um, black soap as a shampoo because I'm saying this I know this is out of like you know you probably didn't think about it you probably don't know about it but that's something I learned when I went natural I've talked about this in my previous video I started using black soap to shampoo my hair and my hair starting got it started getting thin like I could tell my hair was so thin I was like no 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 this is not what I was this is not what I was trying to do okay so I stopped using black soap as a shampoo so that's one thing you should have in mind if you know you, you might come across it somewhere and you're like oh okay let's try to use this black soap for shampooing and it's not gonna work for you because from my experience that's what I experienced I would that's what I would tell you to do don't use it as a shampoo because it's very drying and stripping and you know it's it will cause your hair to be thin so that's one thing I would tell you and lastly um, just eat healthy you know every you have to eat healthy um, make sure you have a lot of protein in your diet um, if you're a vegetarian you can you know make sure that all the the source of protein you're getting be it beans whatever lentils oh, I don't know but whatever source that you're getting your protein from make sure that you're having more of that to you know because the hair is basically protein so you want to have more you want your hair to grow so just make sure that you're getting enough protein and you're eating healthy and all that drink a lot of water to you know hope that you can hydrate yourself so your hair can so your your skin in general can get easily get rid, rid of toxins and you know all that good stuff okay so just be hydrated and eat healthy eat more fruits and vegetables eat more protein and you know stay healthy there's nothing more to it so those are the things I will tell you I hope I covered everything um, if there's any other thing you guys want me to talk about let me know down in the, in the comment section and um, uh, I don't know what else to talk about I feel like there's something that I'm leaving out if you guys and if you have any advice on how how you know if you have any advice on how to take care of thinning hair or thin hair leave them down in the description box I mean the comment section so it can you know it can be helpful for other people and you know let me know what if you have been if you've had thinning hair before and if you've been able to take care of it um you know your hair has been able to bounce back let us know how you did it so it can be you know beneficial for somebody else out there so let us know and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all my new subscribers i am so grateful for you guys um, it's so amazing that I just started YouTube not too long ago and I'm getting a lot of you know people watching me and that makes me feel good so thank you so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye